Now how to make out whether the fluid is pus or a simple serous fluid? It is not possible to distinguish it so with certainty, but suspect a pyopneumothorax if the ribs cannot be seen through the fluid and if the lung border shows a lot of fibrosis. In the first x-ray that we saw, we can see the ribs through the fluid and the lung border is thin, so it is definitely a hydropneumothorax. In the second x-ray, the ribs cannot be seen through the fluid and though the lung border is not much thickened, it is more likely to be a pyopneumothorax. In this x-ray, note the loculated fluid collection on the left side with an air fluid level. The fluid appears to be pus as ribs cannot be seen through them and note the marked thickening of the lung border. So this is loculated pyopneumothorax. Compare it with this x-ray of loculated hydropneumothorax. Note the lung border shown by the yellow arrow which is not fibrosed. On aspiration, clear fluid and air were aspirated. And in the next x-ray, you will see that the lung has expanded well with only a thin rim of air and small amount of fluid at the bottom. Now here we see a fluid level on the right side with air and the lung border but only in the lower part. The air is not extending to the apex. This is loculated pyopneumothorax. The thick lung border suggests that it is a pyopneumothorax. Note in this x-ray of loculated pyopneumothorax that the ribs are not seen through the fluid and note the thick fibrosed lung border. Pyopneumothorax is often loculated due to formation of adhesions. In the upper half, compare the lung on both sides and the compression of the left lung will be clearly evident. This was a loculated pyopneumothorax.